Hi, I'm Tim McShane for the British Columbia Museums Association, here to talk about collections management. Today, we're going to go over some techniques to construct a simple storage amount to ensure artifacts aren't damaged while they're in storage. Just about every artifact will benefit from some consideration as to how it's being stored. Uh, for larger pieces, such as furniture, this might be as simple as some ethophone pads underneath uh, their feet. Uh, for other pieces, tools, kitchen wares, it might be as simple as an uh, ethophone lined shelf that they're placed upon. The ethophone provides a barrier between the material of the shelf and the artifact. This is particularly important uh, dealing with wooden shelves where they'll off-gas uh, uh, organic compounds from the wood itself or from the finish used on the uh, uh, shelf. Uh, for metal shelves, um, the barrier will provide some protection against uh, uh, staining from rust should the uh, uh, environmental humidity rise too high. Smaller, lighter pieces can often be jumbled together and can damage each other by uh, constant, constant abrading and knocking against each other. This can be addressed by boxes or shelves that are lined with a layer of ethophone and then a second layer of ethophone that has cutouts to contain specific artifacts. Now, while these boxes will take up more shelf space, they can be stacked, which in the long term will actually save you shelf space. Now, the boxes themselves also provide a handy surface to be able to write the accession numbers for the artifacts on the outside of them, so you never have to actually handle the artifacts. And anytime you can reduce handling an artifact, you're prolonging its life. Particularly fragile pieces, such as these beaded necklaces, may require some additional support. Here we have uh, the necklaces tied down to a coroplast backing board. Uh, the board takes the strain off the filament that the beads are strung on as that filament, whether it's a, a thread, sinew, no longer has to support the weight of the beads. Now, the way we have them tied down here maximizes the amount of space that we can use by having concentric uh, necklaces on the same board. And uh, the board itself also provides a handy place to uh, record the artifact's accession number, again limiting the amount that the artifact itself needs to be handled. Awkward shapes artifacts that may require more support include balls, uh, large bowling balls. They can be supported by a hollow cut into a, a chunk of ethophone that uh, accommodates the curvature of the ball to keep it from rolling around while it's set on a shelf. For um, other solutions uh, include a simple collar out of uh, a strip of ethophone, just cut to length and uh, notched, and that will support a ball as well. Otherwise, even just a simple piece of uh, tissue paper wrapped around into a bit of a nest and it's tucked under itself and that will support the artifact as well. Fragile pieces such as arrows that have uh, these delicate fletchings projecting from their shaft that can be accommodated with simply a, a few pieces of notched ethophone uh, to support the shaft of the arrow while providing some space for the fletchings to not be compressed. This can be uh, given some further stability by gluing the pieces down onto a piece of coroplast and uh, really simplifies the carrying of the artifacts. Pieces such as hats can be stuffed with uh, acid-free tissue paper. This not only supports the shape of the hat but also provides a, a little bit of amount, a bit of excess material here that will raise the uh, uh, brim of the hat up off the shelf so it's not being crushed by its own weight. Uh, a little bit more of a tailored uh, mount uses uh, cotton fabric uh, stuffed with styrofoam beads to make sort of a bean bag type of mount. This uh, is custom fitted to the cap so it supports it really well and provides a, a firm base that again lifts it off the shelf. Storage mounts are often in close contact with artifacts for long periods of time. So it's important that they be made out of quality materials. Uh, undyed, unbleached, uh, acid-free tissue is a good material. It also makes a good uh, barrier, a good covering for other materials they might not be so sure about. Brand name ethafoam as well, really good, uh, stable material that uh, will last over the long uh, period of time. But you have to be careful though, because not everything that looks like ethafoam acts like ethafoam. You can also find some cheaper materials that are, are going to break down and become acidic. This stuff just crumbles away. It has a really bad smell to it as well. It smells like uh, vinegar. And that's the acetate in the plastic breaking down and emitting acidic vapors, which are going to go into your artifacts. I hope you found this quick look at constructing storage mounts helpful. Thanks for joining me.